Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel day and night. You know where we take a lighter look into the dark. Today we're going to keep on rolling and we're going to react to King Frostmare. Now I've seen his videos before, but I don't think I've reacted to one. So we're going to do that tonight and we're going to keep our streak of reactions going. If you haven't, check out King Frostmare. Give him a subscribe and like. He does a great job. Um, he's one of the very good ones. And don't forget to subscribe. Thumb wrestle me here. And let's give it up to King Frostmare. Take it away, King. King Frostmare, do you wear underwear? King Frostmare. Urban Explorer. New the jingle for you. You're welcome. In abandoned tunnels, sewers, and the likes. Oh. Stay my bad, this is King Frostmare, scariest videos ever captured in tunnels. In fact, I don't know, that got a little, okay, we're gonna get back, okay, here we go. Being an <sighs> urban explorer, he always had a big interest in abandoned tunnels, sewers, and the likes. He states that he and even some of his friends could hear some pretty inexplicable noises. Have you ever been into a tunnel? Like one of these storm drain underground? Uh, they're pretty freaky, man. They really are, because you can only see so far. And if you get down there far enough, there's only one way out, or you know, maybe two if you go that. But you know what I mean. But it's pretty, uh, pretty freaky. Coming from the sewer tunnels in his hometown, one night he foolishly decided to investigate these tunnels by himself. Yeah, there's one right by my house, and I've done it by myself. I'm coming up on the tunnel right now. I'm hearing the noises inside the tunnel, and. No shot. Bro, there's a straight up dragon in your tunnel. I can't. Oh, my bad. Hello? You think that creature is going to say hello? Oh, man. Run! Run out of there! Is this real? <laughs> oh. Pick your camera up off the ground. Is this not a dragon? Like, what is this? I'm going to make me a little smaller for you guys. Okay, there we go. Was that a duck? The man states that he ran as fast as he could and made sure to never return to these tunnels. Now, obviously the footage is not the best, <laughs> even remastering it didn't reveal much more detail for us. Many people think that this looks similar to the ray creature. To a platypus smoking not, a cigar. What else could it be? If it wasn't a hoax, of course. Yeah, that one's pretty hard to believe. Like, you get that kind of noise and you're going to keep on going in the tunnel? No shot. This is another pretty infamous... Yeah, I know I would, but by most people, friends. this guy... Exploring <laughs> a supposedly haunted tunnel system. Many legends... Well, I know karate, so... ...strange and inexplicable captures that had been taken in there over the years. Apparently, even... So this is more real, because it's a bunch of dudes being idiots. ...adventure trips or other unexplained occasions. What else do you do when you don't have any money and you're a teenage boy? ...could still be roaming... ...or my age... After scouting out the systems for more than an hour, something really creepy unfolded right in front of the camera lens. One, one, one light. Yep. What is that, a Charleston Chew? Okay, turn off the lights. Oh, it's a glow stick. Yeah. <laughs> Close. Dude, it's not bright enough. What about the chocolate Can Charleston try, try Chews? Mmm, so good. Charles in charge, Charles didn't choose. I don't think you're throwing out enough light here. You guys are so dumb. You just sing about. S uh, okay, here we go. I'm messing up. Uh, what? One of the young men is <gasps> It's behind you! Out of the darkness behind him, there appears a scary looking face, and it's peeking over his shoulders. Of course, they made it out of there as quick as they could. 
But what makes what this on Earth? more sinister is the creepy noises that we can hear at the end of the video, which most likely stem from something else in these tunnels. Not that thing. What a terrifying night for them. You think? Yeah. A big shout out uh, to today's video. What's that, everyone? Established titles. Established titles is a project based on a historic Scottish custom. You know what? Project and titles ain't paying me right now, so let's. uh... And ladies in English, it allows you the right to purchase. <laughs> oh, it's not letting me. Land, which in return grants you, the buyer, the right to call them. Oh, we'll see about Lord that. Lady. Look at this beautiful certificate, Lord. Frost. Did they make it so I can't? Oh. Uh, and sound fitting. We're almost there. We're almost there. If you use the code King Frost, almost there. Get your gifts. Now almost there. The they have been inaccessible for many, many years. All right. To make it even creepier, they are mostly unmapped, without anybody knowing the exact layout. Is this the One catacombs? The video camera was found. Supposedly, the last footage. I want to go back and see where they are, but I have a feeling that King Frostbear is not going to know either. Many years. I'm only going to learn how I can be a lord. Oh, perfect! The, the catacombs. I'm a genius! I am the smartest man in life! ...that are known as the catacombs. They have been inaccessible for many, many years. And to make it even creepier... There's only like a billion dead bodies down there. ...without anybody knowing the exact layout. One day, a video camera was found. Supposedly, the last footage of an adventure... Oh, yeah! ...went missing down there. It was oh, yeah, bro! ...by another group of explorers. And what they found on the footage was simply terrifying. I tried to remaster the footage as best as I could. Let's see. It's very bizarre. So basically he's filming what he's seeing very deep inside the catacombs. Other than the point of view shots or pictures of bones. Human bones. So creepy, man. Just human bones down there. Occasionally stops and he photographs bone, often in the shape of an arrow. These arrows point in a direction. Occasionally also he stops to photograph roomfuls of bones. Which means that he's very, very deep inside the catacombs. What happened to him? Nobody knows. I mean, there are Yikes. miles of tunnels like this. 400 miles of tunnels. Wow. I mean, if you don't know about the catacombs already, and most people do, but you know, it's it's Paris, right? It's under Paris. There's other catacombs too, but th the main one, the big one's under Paris. 400 miles of tunnels under the city, and I supposedly it's just so easy to get lost because everything looks the same, and you go deeper and deeper and deeper, like layers stacked upon layers. It's like Donkey Kong. Something like that. So it is possible with these paintings uh, that we may be able to retrace an itinerary to some extent. After about 40 minutes, For all you young kids, Donkey Kong is a game. Back at... Just kidding. Here we go. Point of view shots, uh, the person begins to walk faster and faster. Then he begins to run. We hear his breathing get louder and louder. Uh, as though something was scaring him. He was I can't he's see! Fighting. He's frightened. I'm blind. Stops, perhaps to try to decide which way to run among or to the catch his breath. Corridors. He's running faster and faster and faster, deeper and deeper into the catacombs. And all of a sudden, what on earth is that? The man recording the footage has never been found, and the tape baffled many experts at the time. Did this explorer just get lost? <laughs> what about now? Perhaps afraid of something. Afraid of something that he saw? Other theories state that he might have lost his mind at the time. I was just going to say he might have just lost his mind. Back, That's funny. And he disappeared into the dark tunnels, never to be seen again. It's quite creepy. And one of the most mysterious found footage tapes to ever be released. Like, what is if, what if he was in there for like days and just like finally just lost it? The story goes that the following video was recorded by a young man who was out this night with a group of friends to investigate the supposedly haunted tunnels in his area. Was that a scorpion? For a long time, making it along an old mountain road. 
Does he have skinny the kid is? Oh my gosh. They made it. They took a quick rest in front of an old walkway, which led right into the tunnel systems. They stated that they didn't record anything interesting in the tunnels. However, they noticed an odd moment, which was captured minutes before they decided to take the walkway to the tunnels. Hmm. Hmm. What am I seeing? What am I seeing? What am I looking at? I can't see anything. They all have a blurry face, which is weird. Oh, no, wait. Okay, they blurred them out. Jokey. Is that supposed to be a... Oh, okay. I see it now. It would appear that an eerie figure can be seen in the back, walking along the pathway. Either that or it's just Tommy. Strange, because only moments later, this figure had disappeared. Making yeah, it looks like a ghost for sure. This might have been a spirit making its way out of the tunnels. Or Could just so? out there anyway. Really hard to say. Was that the tunnel entrance? You can't tell anything on this video. So... Yeah, Drake Flow this tunnels. This video was shared by Night Drake Ghost Flow. House. And Remember we can is. see a man who was venturing to the haunted Drake Low tunnels in Kidderminster. He was hoping Ooh, to make haunted. contact with one of the lost souls that might still be roaming inside these old tunnels. Equipped with a spirit box, he started to talk to them. Are you stuck here? Is that a spirit box made out of his old answering machine? <laughs> and call me back if you can. Bye. Is it possible that a spirit was manifesting? Oh, right, right next to him. Yeah. Ghost box. Wow. It's and hard to tell. The footage is so bad. Is it just seen the face of a spirit here? And the face. Mixed with the response we got, maybe. This oh, it's Batman. Face. How eerie. That's Batman. A hundred percent. That's Batman. <laughs> My gosh. Now we are taking a look at Come some on, Robin. Footage. Robin, Those let's go. Old sewer tunnel system. We have to save Gotham. Somewhere in Europe. The story goes. I'm Batman. A lot of sketchy stuff was going on in these systems. Back but was Batman in there? That's to this day. Your tunnels aren't anything without Batman. Eerie outlines of spirits down there. Apparently, the Batman. following footage is showing us one of these instances. Ah, I hate me. All right, let's do it. What are we looking? Oh, stop it! Knock it right off. That's nope. Nope. If that's real, I want to get smacked in the face. That's ugh, creepy. A ballerina. And then the grudge. Oh man, that's a grudge tunnel. A woman seems to appear at the end of the sewer tunnels. But also, the light flickers just moments before she appears on camera. That's quite strange. And as mysteriously as she appears, she vanishes. Dun, dun, dun. Only moments after that, there's a dark shadow that is making it towards the end of the tunnel as well. Oh really? Oh, I didn't see that. Which is pretty inexplicable to many. It's like a mist. A dark what mist. What do you think happened here? I couldn't say, to be honest. Uh, I think the grudge came out of the tunnel. Ugh. You know, this is going to be crazy. Anything that's Russian is crazy. ...loaded by two urban explorers from Russia, who state that they had come across a mysterious creature that night. They were venturing through an old tunnel system that led into a building which was right next to a bunker. They didn't know much about it and investigated it by pure chance. However, they discovered something in one of the rooms oh, man. that caused oh, them man. to probably never set foot into one of these again. Russians are absolutely nuts. Like, would you ever get in a fight with a Russian? <laughs> no thanks. 
Oh, <laughs> come on. The tunnel creature of Russia. Doing sit-ups on an exercise ball. Many comments state that this could in fact be another rake encounter. People do think that A this what? does look pretty similar to it. But of course, these are just speculations. A what encounter? Could it perhaps just be a creepy person that was scaring these two explorers? Could it be the letter M? After all? Let me hear what you guys think. I don't even know. I don't even know. It's the letter M from Sesame Street. Weird capture. The following is one of the later uh, explorations flowing of water. our favorite urbexers, Urbex Hill, who investigated an old water tunnel that night. Chris Hill? Many of you know him for being one of the bravest explorers known to the internet. And okay. tonight, his bravery was put to a test once more when coming across something scary down there. Initially, after hearing the story... If it gets really scary, you'll hear Chris's gun. <laughs> He'll grab his gun. I traversed inside these tunnels. I stumbled across a creature that is worse than anything I could have imagined. As you see the eyeballs. The rose, it began to get rather difficult to continue walking due to the loss of track. I do my best not to say like Casper Sight quotes, but hey man, sometimes it just comes out the eyeballs. Making All right, copyright to um, everything to Casper Sight on that. Was extremely dangerous because of all the noise from the rushing water. I had to lower the audio, making it hard to hear anything I was saying at the time. Is that the glowing eye? Is it the eyes? Is that what we're looking at? You saw the creature? What creature? Is it low to the ground? What is it? Oh, he's popping his head out. Hmm. There's two of them. Right? What on earth? There's still something going on over there. Urbex has come across a scary-looking creature in the distance that seemingly was staring at Urbex's camera. And then there appears to be a second pair of yeah. eyes of the creature yeah. that seems to be super tall as well. Urbex <laughs> made it out of there unscathed. It's like E.T., man. Never found out what these things were. Elliot. Elliot. Found home. The following is an exploration from Exploration MX, an urban explorer who loves adventures to abandoned caves, tunnels, and even cemeteries. Tonight, he made it into an old abandoned mine tunnel system. A and mine while tunnel? Recording and explaining his viewers all the different things. So, this is a mine. This night, something quite eerie unfolded. <laughs> Y bueno, estoy pensando a ver si no está. ¿Qué se escucha? ¿Escucharon eso? Ahí está, lo escuchan. Es como un silbido. <laughs> Baby, but of course you won't. Yonem X had no idea what made those creepy whistling noises at the time, and then it sounded like something was dragging on the tunnel floor. A bit too much for the man, and he decided it was a to search for the exit right after. Some people think that this might have been an animal, perhaps. Do you think this could be true? Let's go with Tommy Knocker. Storm drain. 
Timothy. That's the one I've been at by my house. From Canada went to check out an old storm drain with a couple of friends the following night. He states that he got suspicious of that storm drain one day after seeing something move in there pretty fast. What was supposed to be a fun adventure turned into something quite unsettling for the group. What are we looking at here? What is that? It's like a frog. Oh, it's American Ninja Warrior frog. You see that thing just like crawling along the ceiling? They're like, what on earth? What the? That freaking scared me. That scared the crap out of me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're still running. Inhumane seems to be running at the group of Oh my gosh. Of course, they exit the tunnel immediately after. Unfortunately, it's not clear if this was a mysterious creature or something paranormal perhaps. But it certainly is not It looked like real. It looked like something like just a little white thing that was like crawling on the ceiling and then that shadow thing just came full sprint. Oh man, that was good. That was a great last one. That scared the crap out of me. Probably scared you too, don't lie. I know you were scared. Anyway, that's it for today. We'll see you next time. Give us a subscribe and like. Peace.